Hey everyone, it's Neil Patel here for another Q&A Thursday video. I'm here with Adam from viewership.com. Hey everyone. And we have a question that many of you guys have been asking. What is it, Adam? I am fascinated to hear what Neil's gonna say about this one. So this one is from Shashi Kant. Hey Neil, I have a question. Will AI overshadow digital marketing and SEO in coming years? I don't feel that AI is gonna overshadow. AI is gonna start being integrated in marketing campaigns. Not what most of you guys are thinking about. And here's what I mean. Okay. What kind of milk do you buy? Uh, well, I'm lactose intolerant, so almond milk. <laughs> okay. What brand of almond milk do you buy? Uh, the Silk. Silk milk. milk. Yep. There's other almond milk brands out there. You know that, right? Yeah. yeah. Like Blue Diamond. I think it's Blue, Blue Diamond. Yep. Yeah, that's one of them. I, I buy See, almond I don't milk do as well. I don't buy it. <laughs> I'm lactose <laughs> as well. Oh, there you go. <laughs> All right. So what, what's going to end up happening is what kind of fridge do you have right now? I don't know. <laughs> uh, he has some sort of fridge. Yeah, some fridge. <laughs> and I have some sort of fridge and I have no clue what it is either. But what's going to happen is AI and marketing is going to be integrated into offline marketing in your oh, daily life. And terrifying. here's what I mean by this. In your fridge, it's going to eventually be able to detect when you're almost out of almond milk or when it's expiring. Okay. And it's going to be like, hey, Adam, your silk milk is running low. Would you like me to make another order for you? Oh, jeez. And when they keep doing that, what's happening? Companies like Silk Milk are continually generating the revenue from this. But what's going to be creative is companies are going to integrate with artificial intelligence and a lot of these offline devices like refrigerators that will eventually be more automated. And they'll say, hey, we're Blue Diamond and we want to run a promotion. And hey, Sub Zero, you're the fridge manufacturer. We'll pay you to put our ad within Adam's fridge. And wow. the ad is gonna end up being in which it'll be more like, hey Adam, we noticed that you drink silk milk. We've noticed that 89% of the people who drink silk milk also find that the taste of Blue Diamond is very similar and they don't mind which brand that they drink. Right. But Blue Diamond is currently running a promotion and you can get the, uh, a carton of almond milk from Blue Diamond for half the cost. Would you like me to order this brand for you instead? And what would you do? Hell yeah. You're gonna save <laughs> sure, half the not? money. <laughs> yeah. Especially when they give you a stat that 89% of the people drink almond milk and silk milk and they find that it tastes the same. Totally. That's what's gonna happen with AI and marketing. You're gonna start seeing a lot of things integrated together in which the technology and the intelligence is going to start dictating what people do in their life more so by making suggestions and they're going to try to get companies to switch brands. What I believe is going to happen is Google and Facebook and a lot of these companies are going to power this technology and they'll also uh, power the ads. So they'll integrate with Sub-Zero who will be the quote unquote publisher and which is a fridge manufacturer and Google will be the software vendor and they'll run the technology and they'll give Sub-Zero a kickback. So think right now, you have a website, AdSense is running on your website. Anytime someone clicks on your AdSense on your website, Google kicks you back a check. That's what will end up happening mm. with offline products and you're gonna start seeing artificial intelligence integrated into a lot of aspects from your life and not only will it make your life more convenient, but they'll start dictating what brands that you should end up buying. And it won't necessarily force you into it, but it'll really persuade you. Right. Because if you're really loyal to Silk Milk, and I was Blue Diamond, I was running an offer, and I said, you're gonna get a 25% off, and you said no, then next week I say, hey, you're running out again, this week I'll give you 50%, and you say no. Once if I said, I'll give you 90% off, and even if he still said no, once if I said, hey, I know you like Silk Milk, we ordered it, but we also ordered you a free carton of Blue Diamond. They're running an offer, it's being delivered to you for free, just a small little carton so you can test it out. All the almond milk in the world. Yeah, as as just, it yeah <laughs> you would probably try it out or you'd be willing to. Of course. And that's marking. That's what I see that's gonna happen in artificial intelligence. How are we gonna market to there? How can you get in front of it? I have no clue, but it's still early on. In the next three, four years, we're all are gonna have a better understanding of how we can start getting integrated into artificial intelligence and use it for marketing, but it's still too early. What you're gonna see before artificial intelligence is gonna be more virtual reality, 
in which you're buying e-commerce products from Shopify and you'd be like, oh cool, let me see how it feels like to try on these uh, trousers or pants or this dress or these high heels. And you'll be like in a mall type of setting or a stores type of setting where you'll be able to try on that shoe or that high heel or that coat or that watch and be like, oh, all right, this is what it looks like. That's what I see that's gonna happen to marketing before artificial intelligence comes in there. We're never gonna have to leave our homes, ever. We're just sit, sit at home with our silk milk and our clothes <laughs> and it's all good, that's all we need. And of course, and, and, and that makes sense because right now, you're less likely to leave your home for food because there's Postmates and Uber Eats. Totally. But before, everyone go out there and go and buy food. Or you go grocery stores. Now you can get grocery stores delivered to you. Right now, they have buttons from Amazon, like they have those Tide buttons, you push it, boom, you run out of Tide, automatically gets delivered to you and gets charged to your account. Amazon even has it where you walk into certain stores like in Seattle, there's no one there, you can buy stuff and they know it's you and you get charged for it. And same with chatbots. A lot of chatbots from Drift and Intercom and places like this, and I know Facebook has their own messenger, you can end up doing it where, based on what people say, you can end up responding with certain canned responses. And that's cool and all, but it'll start getting really sophisticated and it'll almost act like a human. It's just gonna take time and then to analyze more data. Just think about it. Cars can drive on their own without you know, humans actually turning the steering wheel. Laws are the issue on why that's not possible right now, but the technology is there. Same with AI. It's gonna come really fast. Give it three, four, or five years, you're gonna start seeing it integrated a lot within marketing. The technology isn't as there compared to, uh, let's say, you know, automatic car driving or anything like that, but you're gonna start seeing issues with laws and legalities and privacy coming in with AI, and that's really gonna affect on how it's gonna be used in marketing, more so than the technology being built. And what happens with the laws, I don't know. Europe is more strict with the laws than, let's say, the US, but time will tell. Right. Well, I'm curious from you guys, if this scares the living hell out of you and you are terrified of AI, I'd love to hear from you in the comments. And Yeah, I'm not too scared no, for it. <laughs> that doesn't scare you? That doesn't no, make you not nervous? At all. Oh man. But thank you guys for watching. Leave a comment if you have questions. If you want your question answered next week's, let us know what you want for the next Q&A Thursday video. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe, like, share these videos. Appreciate everything. If we can ever help you out with anything, let me know. And if you leave a comment, just as normal, I will be responding to each and every single one like I've done in the past.